we're at World Dairy Expo with our friend Aidan Connolly of Canthus, but he's also here this morning uh, doing uh, another project that he's involved with regarding uh, ag tech and dairy technology development. Uh, tell us a little bit about the program this morning and uh, the, some of the companies involved. Certainly. So as you gather, uh, Joel, we had the opportunity last year, because the World Dairy Expo was not taking place, to put on a virtual event. World Dairy Expo liked the idea, asked us to come back and do it again this year. So 11 startups participated in that last week, uh, sort of a teaser for the World Dairy Expo. And uh, we have 10 of those uh, this morning, I believe 10, yeah, presenting uh, the different technologies they have. So Cantus is one of those. I'm the CEO of Cantus, but we've kind of crowdfunded it. So we're just collaborating together to create the funding, for our startups to be present their ideas in front of producers, farmers, and that's pretty exciting. And you did have a couple of weeks ago an online version of this same uh, group of presentations that probably folks can find if they do a little bit of Google work or yeah, if, so it's if you have the website in mind. World Dairy Tech um, Expo Spotlight, um, and that's I think WDE Tech T C H uh, Spotlight dot com, but you'll Google it pretty easily. I think that was, it was very, very professionally produced. The startups were very clear in terms of what the benefits are for the dairy industry. We didn't just do farms, we also did uh, the dairy milk supply chain. But um, it's just another indication of how many great technologies are coming out at the moment. Indeed. Well, speaking of new technology, what's the latest from your company? What's the what's what's uh, Cantus, Cantus up to these days? Um, more cows on the system. Uh, we have a considerable footprint in the United States. Just started doing business outside <laughs> Saudi Arabia, um, Europe. Uh, the product itself, which focused on feed deliveries, feed bunk management, has uh, this year introduced new elements relating to behavior. And in the last month or so, we've introduced uh, two or three more features. One, which is the ability to count cows in real time. So on your phone, you know exactly how many cows are in the pen. Not sure why it's quite so critical, but pet cows seem to appear and disappear from the pens, a little bit like um, Star Trek, I guess, being beamed, beamed up, beamed down. We never know why. So real time cow count is really cool. Headlock alerts, alert on your phone to tell you when cows have been locked up for too long and feed bunk alerts telling you if the north end, the south end, the middle end are out of feed for too long. So that alert system is being very, very, people seem to be very excited by that. They feel that that's going to be another game changer, allowing them to manage the farms better. And of course, with current feed prices, if you've 4,000 cows, you're spending a million dollars a month on feed. So feed, feed is still the most critical thing for, from our perspective to manage on the farm today. Sure. Well, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, we're at World Dairy Expo this week for Dairy Business Update. We're with Aidan Connolly of Canthus, and he's here today as chair of the Dairy Tech Spotlight Program. Thank you. Thank you. This is Joel Hastings for DairyBusiness.com.